Truman had a chance to inspire some confidence when, less than a month after Roosevelt died, he announced Germany's surrender. Much remains to be done. The victory won in the West must now be won in the East. A series of valiant American victories seemed to promise that the end might finally be near. Japan knew Japan was defeated, and we knew Japan was defeated. The question was, would they surrender? And the Japanese did not surrender. And the closer we got to the mainland islands of Japan, the higher the price became in blood. Suicidal kamikaze attacks suggested to Americans that the enemy would fight until the bitter end. In July of 1945, the Allies met at Potsdam, and they issued an ultimatum to Japan, unconditional surrender or utter destruction. As they spoke, millions of troops were gathering for the final assault on the Japanese homeland. I was in deep despair and regarded myself on, say, August 1st, 1945. I regarded myself as dead already. I knew I was going to be killed. Paul Fussell, who had been wounded in Europe and patched up to fight again, was one of a million Americans preparing to attack Japan. I knew that I would be running up the beach at Kyushu. It was all planned. My division was to be in the first wave. I couldn't avoid being killed forever. As troops in the Pacific awaited their orders, a bomber named the Enola Gay took off from the island of Tinian. President Truman hoped it was on a mission that would end the war. The plane carried a new weapon that was the result of the most secret home front defense project. For four years, 160,000 people had labored at 37 sites most of them unaware of the magnitude of what they were working on. On July the 12th, the weapon was tested. The decision to use it came less than a month later. It was a decision made by people who also did not understand the magnitude of what they had. Who could? We were at war. And we were fighting an enemy who uh, had not shown uh, any inclination toward mercy whatsoever. And we wanted the killing to stop. Truman said, I dropped the bomb. I made the decision to stop the war. On August the 6th, the Enola Gay's mission was to drop the new bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. I remember hearing on the radio that an atom bomb had been dropped. And in my head, I spelled it A-D-A-M and wondered, what is this atom bomb? And you know, why is it so powerful? The world had never seen anything like it. A single bomb that could level an entire city. Three days later, a second atom bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. The almost inconceivable idea of Japanese surrender was now suddenly at hand. The news came on August the 15th, 1945. Japan had surrendered. I was at Fort Dix, New Jersey thrilled that the war was over, that I didn't have to fight. They were going to send me to um, machine gun school, but there was nobody to machine gun anymore. 